They used to say, we're not long, but we sure are wide. I love what you do here. This is so awesome. Thank you. <laughs> Got some really talented friends. Hello and welcome to the Vic Meyer Show. This week we're headed back to Blue Lake, California to learn a little bit more about the oldest railroad in all of California. But first! Don't mind if I do. Brian, what, what's your position here? I'm the general manager of Tamarack Lodge and Resort. Oh, very fortunate. they couldn't have picked a better person, too. No, you're very kind. <laughs> no, you're very kind. I love what you do here. This is so awesome. Thank I loved you. what you did here, to be <laughs> honest, and I wish you still did. Well, but, uh, we'll see about that. Yeah. <laughs> Come back. Yeah, thank you. That was your spot, my friend. I know, I love it. I'm just, I'm getting goosebumps just, yeah. just being here. Thank well, it's, you. It's a big part of, uh, I think all of us kind of growing up and forming, you know, to make stuff. Yeah. And, uh, thank you, Brian. Right yeah, yeah, absolutely. I appreciate you. Good to see you. Kitty, cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Mistaken. This is the Bob Hope movie that was filmed right here at the Tamarack Lodge. It's historic, lovely, lovely place. Uh, obviously, it's 100 years in the making, and uh, the biggest piece of it is that part right there, uh, which is the heart. And for me, the heart is the people uh, in this room tonight. So, thank you guys so much. Um, Everybody comes here for different reasons, and I, I can't even tell you how much it means to me personally. Uh, this place means to me. Uh, so uh, I just hope you guys can join me. We're about to light some candles on that cake right there. Uh, I'm not a singer, but uh, <laughs> uh, we'd like to sing we all Happy Birthday to Tamarack Lodge, uh, to the best of our ability. Uh, so if you join me in that, um, I'm going to do this. Hey, we can do it right now. Josh, Josh, would you do me the, uh, the honor of blowing them out once a song? Oh, I think everybody should be involved. Blowing everybody needs yeah. to sing this. Yeah. Hey, you've never sung it like this. Please Blow sing it with me. Yeah, sing it with him. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you, Tamarack. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday.
We're gonna pause the video right now just to take time to make sure that if you haven't subscribed, what are you doing? You're killing me. Hit that subscribe button. And please, stay up to date on all the things occurring on The Vic Meyer Show. I also want to take a moment to thank Betty D for her generous gift. You can do the same thing by sending a thanks through YouTube or becoming a Patreon member just like Whitney Jones did this week. Thank you to Whitney Jones, David Boroff, and David Reimers. I appreciate all three of you. It's a start, and I'll always remember who was there in the beginning. Much love. Now on with the program. All right, so lucky. I got some really talented friends. I have an interesting story. Uh, this section of right of way, though, if you're interested in railroad history, this is just like one of the most interesting spots I think in Northern California. We are standing on the original Arcata and Mad River Railroad right of way. Um, the railroad has its genesis in a company called the Union Plank Walk and Track Company. They built a wharf out of the town called, then it was Union, um, out of the Arcata Plaza area, basically two and a half miles out into the bay. So that was built with, um, it was actually like redwood timbers and they had to put metal straps on it. And the original train was basically just a cart with a horse. And one of the horses famously was named Spanking Fury. Um, so that wharf operated until about the 1930s. Uh, in the 1880s, uh, the Corbell brothers of the Corbell winery fame, they extended the railroad from Arcata into Blue Lake and then eventually all the way to Corbell. They needed a uh, redwood for their, their, their barrels, basically. Um, so during that post-war boom, at one point this railroad, which is seven and a half miles, would take something like 12 hours to switch because there were so many mills that they'd have to grab cars from all of the different mills, build a train, bring it to North Arcata, and then it would be transferred to the Northwestern Pacific Railroad. And it would, you know, the, yeah. the cars would go all over the, the country. When they were switching cars from Corbell all the way to Arcata, it, it ended over like on a West End Road area at a spot called Corblex, which is Corbell Exchange. You can still see that on the map. Yeah, so a little bit about the Ain and Mary. Um, the railroad effectively started, they started calling the Ain and Mary to honor two different bookkeepers, uh, Annie Carroll and Mary Buckley. I forget where they worked, <laughs> but it was either end of the line. Yeah. Um, and the funny thing about the AMR is yeah, having its origins as the first railroad in California, it was really special because it was only about seven and a half miles. But the interesting thing is in the post-war boom in the late 40s, early 50s, the Annie and Mary at one point was the most profitable railroad per mile in the United States. The tracks were removed in 1997 to settle debt with the railroad, um, which is really unfortunate. They had plans on continuing to operate but the the whole railroad which owned this section uh, the northwestern pacific it shut down officially in 1998 uh, it was owned by the north coast railroad authority uh, now it has become the great red trail agency the grta does not actually own all of this right-of-way because it, um, unfortunately it was just it was an abject abandonment it was never rail banked so some of the sections can't actually be turned to trail unlike the main railroad which has been legally rail banked so the funny thing is if you look over at our little depot, you can see the speeder rolling up. We're basically on the right of way, just a little bit over to the right. That ditch on the right hand side, I think that is the original railroad ditch. So this is like the bevel of the, the grade. And you can see when the company A and K Railroad Materials came through in 97 and tore the track out, they didn't want to tear out every single piece, especially because they probably didn't want to, you know, pay to have the crossing fix. So you can see that is an original piece of the Arcade and Mad River. There's also a piece uh, in the pavement over by the logger bar. Um, this is an interesting spot as well, because if you look right where those people are walking, that is the old Ar uh, Blue Lake Depot for the Arcade and Mad River Railroad. And Oops. now it's the Blue Lake Museum. Oh, I didn't mention the slogan. They used to say, we're not long, but we sure are wide. <laughs> I read that once in a publication. Yeah, in interesting line, because like through here, this is not much of a maintenance problem, because I mean, basically from here to like over near e and Bowl, there's not a whole lot of like major infrastructure. It's mostly just, you know, kind of through pastures, you know, farmland that way, and then through town this way. There's no major infrastructure that way. But basically from like the e and Bowl or the former e and Bowl at Glendale, uh, you have a huge 
bridge going over Mad River, which was a maintenance problem because you know it's a large, like three span bridge. And then once you get to the Arcata side, there's the massive Warren Creek, Warren Creek trestle, which is something like I think it's like 50 or 60 feet tall and it's long, it's all redwood timber. And then there's also three other minor trestles. And so it was a really maintenance heavy railroad to maintain for how short it was. And the only reason why it made sense to run something that short and maintenance intensive is because they were cutting a lot of redwood at the time. The route that Mickey and I take on our daily walks is the very same route that the Annie and Mary train once took and also had the distinction of being the oldest section of railroad in all of California, only to be dismantled for scrap in the late 90s when the railroad company ran out of money. Apparently, the bill collectors came collecting and they pulled up the section of track running through Blue Lake all the way to Corbell, calling it a spur. The oldest section of railroad, easy for me to say, the oldest section of railroad in all of California scrapped and labeled a spur. Shameful. Now this situation right here, this is quite, quite annoying. Favorite places in all of Mammoth and also one of the best deals you're gonna find in this entire town. My good friend Kitty is here in the Eastern Sierra. We're gonna get you some, playing some music around here, I hope. Well, let's, let's try. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for watching the Vic Myers Show. Remember to keep it between the lines. Look out for Smokey, because they're looking out for you. And as always, thank you for allowing me to entertain you, presumably. Again, this is the Vic Myers Show. Please like, share, and subscribe. And do keep those comments coming. I really do enjoy them. This is, again, the Vic Myers Show, only on YouTube. Every Wednesday. Much love.
wait for the morning to come. I know that the time will be just right. Straight into my arms, you will run. Why do you come, my dear? I've been waiting to make sure that you're near the moon. Right there, when you see my dreams are true, you know I'm calling you. Yeah, I'm lucky to have some challenge. Yeah. 